I'm here today with Investor Intel at PDAC 2020 with Tom Drivis of Appian Energy. Um, and I just want to talk to you a little bit today about your deposit in northern Saskatchewan because I've read some interesting things about the grade. Well, thank you. Thanks for asking. It's glad to be here. We're glad to be here in, uh, at the PDAC. We do have a booth. Um, in terms of our uh, API is concentrating uh, the last uh, our efforts basically on um, on Austin's Lake project, the high grade critical rare earths uh, located in northern uh, Saskatchewan, Canada. It's uh, world class grades. You know we see grades up to 49, 50 percent rare earths, and a quarter of that is um, critical rare earths, uh, neodymium, praseodymium. Okay, and. Uh for the processing that you want to do on site, would you just ship out a 50% concentrate or would you do any beneficiation on site? Our, um, our rare earths are, the, we have six or seven zones right on surface. So it's basically, and we're getting um, monozyte up to 80% monozyte right on surface. So, it, it, you know, nature has concentrated already our, our, our um, uh, material, our rare earth. Um, and um, in terms of uh, that's sort of the next uh, step for us, how, we're, if we're going to concentrate or we're going to do some work on, on uh, further concentration at, at, at the site or take it outside. Uh, currently, we're working with uh, SG, uh, SRC, which is the Saskatchewan Research Council. The Saskatchewan Research Council has a pilot plan, a 2,000 ton a year pilot plan with, uh, in, in Saskatoon. And it's licensed to process uh, ex, uh, rare earths. And this is, uh, we are working with them to um, uh, uh, advance the project into the next level, basically, in terms of processing. I guess with monazite, you also get the thorium and the uranium, but Saskatchewan is likely the best place in the planet to have that sort of issue. Saskatchewan, in Saskatchewan, you get production of 20, up to 20 percent uranium. So the, the province is, is a very good mining jurisdiction, and they're very familiar with uh, radioactivity, uranium and, and thorium. Uh, so. Uh, we're lucky that our project is in Saskatchewan. It could be, if it was in another jurisdiction, it could have been a lot uh, worse. So uh, we we think that you know we can basically being in the in in in, in the area in Saskatchewan, in north of Saskatchewan. We're very close to the uranium city, where the uh, 17 mines operated uh, for years. Uh, we, we think we can basically handle the, the radioactivity in, in thorium and, and, and some uranium that we have. And what is your view or perspective on what the North American governments are trying to do with the critical materials supply chain? As you know, uh, China controls about 80%, 85% of the rare earth uh, supply. And um, uh, it, it's been uh, the last few years and, and recently the US government and the Canadian government and, and the Western world basically governments are getting together because they like to see uh, uh, they like to develop a, a, a supply outside of China a rare earth supply outside of uh, China so there was an agreement signed an MOU signed between uh, the US uh, government and the Canadian government there was actually a meeting here in, in Toronto where the US government and, and the and the, uh, the Canadian government and the industry had a meeting to see how it would be, which is the better way to advance the, this, uh, this agreement that they have into and how can they uh, expedite the whole uh, process of, of looking at having some uh, uh, secure supply outside of, uh, of China. So Appia is actively involved in these discussions? Uh, Appia is actively involved in these discussions. We have filed an application with the US government and we are talking to uh, and, and our Canada, the, the, uh, the uh, Canadian uh, uh, industry, uh, 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 Canadian national resources basically uh, here. Okay, well thank you very much. That's very informative and uh, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. We're very excited. It's a very exciting project. 
you know, in terms of monocyte, we, we hear that is probably the highest in, in, in North America and possibly, you know, one of the highest in the world in terms of uh, monocyte and, 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 uh, and uh, critical and uh, rare earths. So we're excited.